What's going on everybody? Welcome to Bonehead Truckers. In this edition we're calling this Bonehead YouTube Truckers. Okay, um, several years ago I called out a cancer in our YouTube community, our YouTube trucking community. I've been, I've been on this thing forever, guys. I just have, and even before we've had Bonehead Truckers of the Week, I was a vlogger. I'd vlog my time out on the road, and during that time, I got to know uh, a lot of people and meet a lot of people. Some were good. Most were good. Some were bad. Not a whole lot were bad. Just some. And this one was a bad guy. I, I've, you know, I kind of noticed it a long time ago. So, Marky Mark Straight, as I've always liked to call him because he didn't like it. I did a video about this guy about a year or so ago because I googled his name and I saw his, a freaking mugshot. Okay, and then, you know, because it was like two months after the fact that he got like arrested. Two or three months after he got arrested. So I was kind of surprised by it. So, after time, I said, hey, I'm going to let you guys know what happened. And now, this has been delayed for so long, but just like a week and a half ago, he finally got sentenced. Now, I have to be really vague, basically, uh, on what his, he was charged for, basically because, you know, for what it is, CP, okay? Now, initially, I thought that he w was charged for possessing CP. Um, it's not that simple. He was actually producing CP. Yes, that's right. Supposedly, and it, listen, I've been in contact with, you know, a few people associated. They're close to him or used to be close to him that have followed this. And they, they you know, after, especially after my first video, some people reached out to me through Facebook, through email and all that kind of stuff. And it's like, hey, um, I'm close to the situation and this is what happened. And so I've been holding a lot of this uh, close because I needed to see a conviction. I needed to see a lot of things so, uh, in order to, you know, talk more about it. Uh, he did plead guilty. So, you know, no trial, basically. It was just like, hey, I'm pleading guilty. Like, you know, one of those things. So you didn't go through the whole situation. But from what I understand, I understand that I don't have all the nitty, well, the dirty, absolutely sickening details. He was using his truck to produce these, Im I don't know if they were images or videos, I don't know that much. Um, also, I found out that he used the dark web. I guess. I don't know. I, I used to think the dark web is to like, I don't know, sell CB radios that were illegal. Um, I, I'm guessing that's what the dark... I don't even know how to get on the dark web. I don't know anything about this whole dark web thing. I've always heard about it, but that's all it is. I've heard about it. He was uh, convicted of two counts of producing CP, um, 15 counts of indecent liberties charge. Uh, I can tell you that he got 45 years of suspended prison time after a 20 year sentence. I'm thinking what that means is, is that he serves 20 years and then he's out on parole or probation. Um, according to this article, he is uh, 55 years old. So if he was to serve 20 years, I put him 75. Now this guy was a guy that was like over 400 pounds. I personally do not think that he's even going to survive 20 years, nowhere close to it. When I sit there and I think of cancers in the trucking community, trucking YouTube community, I think of people that are just slimy and all that kind of stuff. Uh, this is beyond that. Um, this is probably the worst and and we've had a couple of people in the trucking youtube community serve time in prison uh this is probably well uh th there's this guy named trucker eric and i don't know all the details on him but i was sitting there thinking that this was a guy that probably has you know the smart state has done far worse um 
I do know a few details basically from talking to people who are close to the situation and I don't want to say too much on that because we're talking about um, minors and probably people who are going to be affected all their lives by it and so it, it's so I don't want to go too much into detail um, basically because of that um, I'm glad he's put away um, to the victim, and I don't know how many victims, to be totally honest. I don't know. I know of at least one. Um, it's pretty sick. It's absolutely pretty sick. Uh, to the victims, if you stumble upon this video um, ever, hopefully you don't. Hopefully you could have a normal life. But if you do, uh, understand that truck drivers are not monsters. Okay? Um, you may have an experience with that but truck drivers are not monsters. Um, from what I gather, he used this truck to produce these things, and um, that, that could be bad to someone who's young. I don't want to cut, the last video I did on Mark State, on the end of it, when I sat there and I said, I told you so, I believed he only, he only possessed it. I didn't think he actually produced it. Um, so I, I, what I say, I'm here gloating, saying, or saying, I told you so. No one can sit there and predict that. And that would be wrong for me to sit there and say, now, after knowing what I know now, through talking with individuals over the last almost year, it's been several months, um, uh, this has been delayed for such a long time. He was first arrested in March of last year. Oh, one other thing. Um, from what I understand, uh, when he was arrested, he was uh, fleeing the country to Mexico. According to sources, again, according to people who are close, he was fleeing the country and he was uh, tipped off by uh, uh, someone close to him, um, a relative uh, that I guess authorities were, you know, that's the reason why he was uh, leaving the country because he was tipped off sitting there saying, you know, that these, you know, these charges are coming up on him. If I say I hate doing videos on this, but I feel like him being a part of the YouTube trucking community, and this is a trucking community that I first got into in 2010, I would say that I'm kind of an elder statesman in, in the whole, in this whole genre. And so coming on here, I know Pell Rider has done a couple of videos on this as well. Shout out to Pell Rider TV. Go sh go sub to him. He does a lot of this kind of stuff. Uh, Mark State, sick man. Just a sick man. He's going to be put away for a long time. Hopefully the rest of his life. Don't need people like this in this world at all. That's my opinion. That I've said too much. Again, this this is it's absolutely sick. And I, you know, I've raised two daughters and. Um, it's, it's definitely uh, something that, it, it's just, it's sick, you know, it's just sick. Anyways, I appreciate you guys watching Bonehead Truckers, and in this case, Bonehead YouTube Truckers. And he's not going to be driving a truck again. He's not even allowed to be on the internet. And hopefully, he'll see his last days in a jail cell. He won't be out in public ever. He won't be a free man ever. That's our hope.